This is a very important contemporary event. The saga of the controversial deal between a state-owned bank and a businessman continues at the Senate Hall. Senators and officials of Development Bank of the Philippines, or DBP, debated on whether the 660 million peso loans to Roberto Umpin were behest. Umpin is one of the richest men in the Philippines. He did not appear at the Senate hearing on Friday. His lawyer said Umpin is abroad but willing to participate in the probe when he gets back on October 25. He's, he feels personally aggrieved that someone of his uh, reputation and stature in the business community, community uh, has been falsely charged and uh, he's taking this uh, seriously and he will defend himself and he's very confident he will prevail. The senators not the request of Ong Pin's lawyer to read a prepared statement. Mr. Ong Pin, once he shows up and makes an opening statement, we will allow him to. The senators questioned why a loan was approved in just one day, when banks usually take much longer for other clients. They also debated on whether the collateral was enough to cover the loans in case of default. Former DBP President Ray David and the previous BBB officials said the loans were not irregular because Ang Pin paid them in full. Now that's up the definition of what a behest loan is. They're inventing their own definition so that they can get away with it. Uh, but a nice try. What makes a loan behest? Is it the personalities involved? If the loan was paid or not? Or if the collateral is enough to cover all the risks? This Senate hearing hopes to establish if the transaction between DBP and the Ongpin Group in 2009 followed or violated banking rules, and if the bank officials were prudent in handling state funds.